Hello again. Dave here back for round two. Uh, we're on the draw, and don't think we can keep it. We need a bunch of lands, and Ugin's Insight is pretty dead at this point, so let's mull and hopefully get a better six. And we did. This is uh, perfectly fine. I mean, we really only have a couple of plays, but um, we get a scry, and... Spell Shovel would be good on three, but we definitely need land. But we need a bunch of land too, so I might I might keep it. I'm in a gambling mood. We get two cracks at it, um, at a land after that, so... And we have Castigator plus Tightening Coils if we're facing down something like a, you know, silly Benthic Infiltrator or something we can't deal with. It. And that's a little punishing. I'm gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna play the Castigator in the hopes that we draw an untapped land. I mean, it's not the worst if we have to play the, bl the bridge on three because we don't really have anything else. We're just missing out on Spell Shrivel. And it does get an extra point of damage out of the Castigator, so... Potentially. Alright, Dominated Drone's not bad, not bad. That's not bad. We get to then block. Alright. Um, so we can... He's got Ingest, so I'm going to hold back and block with the Castigator. And I'm going to hold up Spell Shrivel. I think that's right. And we can play the Sandstone Bridge next turn. And I will just snap off the trade here, no question. Hmm. Blighted Fen could be online here soon. I guess it's not... It's okay against us, but we have a lot of low drops that get outclassed fairly easily, so... Um, as long as we keep a reasonable board presence, oh yeah. I mean, you might not have life gain, but I don't want that on the table. Just in the off chance that he's got, like, cholesterol healers or something like that, I do not want that on the table. Opponent not attacking, which is pretty good for us here, because now I can just bridge and opponent probably doesn't block. And all we need is lands off the top, and we're good to go. Lands are spells. Lands are castable spells. Hmm. Alright. One for one, just with Boiling Earth. Might want to bring in a um, Medic in, over the Earth. Or over the uh, over a Castigator. Kind of turns off his Boiling Earth. And he might keep it in, because he saw one Castigator. Uh, Gideon's Reproach. Uh, Blade the Cataract. Sweet. So, hmm. Unfortunately, we're going to get Dominator Droned. We're going to get domed by Dominator Drone again here. So, hmm. I may just want... I can always just, like, Tightening Coils it next turn. So we get domed again, and the first ingest is the one that matters. The second one doesn't really, so this is the best use of our mana. And then next turn we can, like, if we play something big, we can tighten Coils plus Stasis Snare. And if we draw land, we can just play Wave Wing Elemental, which, which this just then blocks the drone fairly well, so... On to Greathorn, would have been good. But not going to complain too much about that. Oh, yeah. Just stasis snare that thing. And then probably just... Um, probably just tightening coils that thing and just stop taking damage. Although... Um, hmm. One, two, three, four, five. That might incentivize incentivize him to um, 
pop the blighted fin on us. Yeah, I think I like that. Whoa, opponents on the 80 card special. Okay, yeah, I like this a lot more than... I didn't realize that. Opponent got out of the first round with the 80 card special, though. That's pretty sweet. And he can actually cast spells? Like, I just thought he was just a regular, like, black-red devoid deck. Okay, well, take advantage of this while we can and get a free, quote-unquote, free, um, free win here. So here I'm going to play the Incubator Drone because it basically shuts off the Fen. That was a pretty lucky draw because if he draws a land, we lose like Sentinel, which I think is really good here. Um, incubator Drone gets to attack through. He can't like pop this for Bone Splinters if he wants to block and save two damage. Alright, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna hold that land. Actually, I can just attack with everything here. Yeah, that's that's kind of what, what I expected to happen. So we get an extra point of damage. One, two, three, four. Yeah, and then next turn I can play the land and, and get the extra points, plus have Bladed Cataract up. Oh, I like this. Although I think at this point the game's just over. The old 80 card special. Uh, what is he showing? Ulamog's Nullifier. He could have killed the 2 3. Alright. Lumon's Nullifier. So I have to remember Ulamog's Nullifier. I'm very curious what his actual colors are. Looks like base black. Maybe like Grixis. Hmm. Dispel is an option. Um, but we really only saw the one thing, so I'm just going to run it back until we see kind of his actual deck here. That's kind of unfortunate. The old 80 card submit sucks. It just puts you so far behind. You have to 2-0 basically every game. Um, and then like the one time you're lucky enough to win game one, um, you know, you still have to win one more. So, I mean, you're not always going to win all your matches. You win the first game. So, it, it just puts you so far behind, obviously. Like, yes, understatement of the day. I once uh, did that in an 8-4. Um, right when they switched to 5 minutes, I was messing around with my mana base and didn't realize that, um, that I had, like, 5 seconds left. And didn't have enough time to get 40 cards in and hit the submit button fast enough. It feels very, very bad. I don't know what there, what other options there are for it, though. Like, there's not really a way that Magic Online can, you know, build your deck for you outside of just, like, whatever cards were in your main draft window, maybe, but... I guess they need to, uh, I mean, they need to enforce the time limit somehow, or they need to, to not, you know, allow people just to go to five minutes without, without worrying about it. Everybody plays by the same rules, so I guess it's fair in the end. I guess I really don't mind only having to win, you know, assuming you win 
those matchups, and I'm you know 95 percent of the time, then only having to win one of the next two is I'm okay with that in the long run. And while we have a minute here, while our opponent sideboards sideboard, into a 40-card deck, um, once again, I'm going to uh, pump the tires on my stream a little bit. No, oh, no, actually I won't. Anyway, come check me out. Um, I think next week, um, being the week of the... Uh, today's the 6th, so whatever next week is, whatever next Monday is, week of the 11th, on the 12th, the Tuesday, sounds like uh, Semulin, uh, Travis Sowers, is... Uh, him and I are going to do a an Oath set review live on stream, so that should be a lot of fun if you like that kind of stuff. We're not LR, but we're definitely um, you know reasonable Magic players, I would say. So it's going to be hopefully entertaining and informative and a lot of fun. This hand is interesting. This hand doesn't do much except Stasis Snare is first thing, and then Dampening Pulse, and hopefully we take no damage. Up against Black, though, I don't know if I like it. We need lands or spells. Or three drops, two drops, I mean. We have a bunch of two drops. We have a bunch of three drops. Uh, I'm going to keep it. Probably a mistake, but we can get out of it with Ugin's Insight, potentially, and we can Stasis Snare things. I was going to say, as long as he doesn't have a Sludge Crawler. Sludge Crawler might be tough to beat here. If we can draw a Castigator, I'd be pretty happy with that. Hmm. Incubator Drone is not bad. And we lost our Gideon's Reproach. Well, Dems the Breaks. Put this island over here so I know how to play the planes. We might just, I don't know, I don't think we just stasis snare that thing. Maybe we do. Stuff to say. Ghostly Sentinel, well, that's all right. We weren't casting that anyway anytime soon. All right, um, let's see here. Shadow Glider forces him to double pump or retrade it, which I'm okay with. Um, or we get a Stasis Snare. We get Stasis Snare if he goes double pump. I kind of like that, and then we just play Incubator Drone. Yeah. If he goes double pump, I'll, I'll, I'll drop the Stasis Snare just to save three life and put him back a turn. It's essentially Time Walk. And if he doesn't, uh, all right, pump it once, pump it twice, all right, basically, basically time walk, strictly worse time walk. So now the board is even, we're down to ingest and four life and a stasis snare. But we have Ondu Great Horn or Incubator Drone. Incubator Drone gets us closer to casting Wave Wing Elemental. Ondu Great Horn does a ton of damage if we draw lands. If we draw land, we can just play like Ugin's Insight or we can play Shadow Glider. So if I draw a land, what am I doing next turn? I'll have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So I want to play Wave Wing Elemental. If I don't draw a land, I can just play Great Horn next turn, and I'm not losing out on two damage. So I think Incubator Drone is the right play. And if he plays like, you know, a three-two, um, then I can slam the Great Horn and just block all day. Nice. 
So land into wave wing elemental would be absolutely fantastic. Or are we just titan coils that thing? I don't mind that either, but take three in the air. I'm not gonna cast Ugin's inside just yet. Could dampening pulse. I kinda like attacking. Um, we play Shadow Glider and just block. We play Great Horn and just attack. I kind of like the Glider and block. Just saves life. Like thirteen is or sixteen is way better, way safer than thirteen. Save our Titan Coils. Yeah, I like saving our Titan Coils. We have Ugin's Insight, so we can easily refill our hand. And we have Waveling Elemental, so I'd like that Cloud Manta out of the way. I think. So we saw Ulamog's Nullifier too, we have to keep that in mind. He's got two things in exile. Drowner of Hope, you are getting Titan Coils. Definitely, definitely Titan Coils that. So land is fantastic. Uh, Tightening Coils plus nothing because I want to be able to play wave wing elemental next turn just need to save the damage so he still gets to tap things but I mean not a huge deal he can't really attack could just play the great horn great horn doesn't attack through though unfortunately so great horns kind of outclassed here Skitter skin is okay. Alright, there we go. So, Skitter skin is going to attack and regen. Wave wing and we get to attack back. We can block with a scion to save four damage. And we can play the dampening pulse. Yeah. It's gonna be interesting. Skitter skin is kinda tough for us to deal with. We can't really block it all that well. And he's got two taps left. Hmm. Alright, I guess it's just Wavewing Elemental. Wishing now that I hadn't fired that Stasis Snare off, but I don't think... I mean, I guess we would have saved 3 damage. Or, uh, we'd be at 13. But we have... We, have, we can chump that for, for days here. And take less damage if we play our Dampening Pulse. Ugin's Insight to refill our hand. Yeah, this is probably fine. Mm, might just save the Scion. What am I going to do with it? Probably nothing. Alright, let's just chump. I want to make him tap my Wavewing Elemental as opposed to um, tapping like to get in lethal. So. Alright, island. What do we have left in the deck for removal? Not a ton. Okay. So that's fine. Um, we can play the great horn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pulse and we take 5 going to 11. We play Great Horn and we can start like double blocking that thing. 
One, two, three, four, five. Two mana left. Hmm, don't like Ugin's inside here. Alright, let's just play the Pulse. What would be good? Clutch Occurrence would be pretty good. Hmm. Ouch. Revealing Merc Strider, so we're gonna ooh, we're gonna lose this game actually. We're gonna get bounced. Hmm. Actually, that could be all she wrote. Yeah. Slow start. Stasis snare the the sledge crawler instead of something more important. Hmm. Game three, I guess. Three, three, four, five. Go to eleven. I mean, it's not over, obviously, but take five this turn. Take seven next turn. Go to four. And we don't really have a way to like kill the silent skimmer just yet. Well, spell shovel right on time. I guess the Waywing Elemental blocks Skitter Skin fairly well. I don't really think about that. So we only take like four. Actually, less than that. We only take like two. That's eh, not bad. Might want to bring in... I don't know if we have a Lithomancer's Focus. If we do, we might want to bring that in. Alright, wave, wave Wing Elemental of your own. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, Great Horn. Great Horn holding up Spell Shovel. Can't attack. We're still technically alive, but we need some Ghostly Sentinels here soon, I think. Hmm. Actually, we might just be dead. Yeah. I think we're just dead. All right, you're definitely bringing in Dispel. Probably cutting a Spell Shovel in for Dispel. Maybe not. He's got, like, expensive stuff. Cut a Great Horn. A lot of our creatures don't block very well here, so... Definitely going to have to... Definitely going to have to get out of the gates a little bit faster next game. All right. That'd be it. All right. Dispel, you come in. Dispel, maybe cutting just a great horn. Keep our creatures around. Doesn't block very well. Stonehaven Medic. Eh, tandem Tactics. Nah. I like that. Hmm. Alright, we got ourselves a match. That explains uh, why the opponent got out of the first round. Their deck seems pretty sweet. When it's in its 40 card variety. I mean, hindsight, maybe we mull, the, or maybe we mull that first 7, because it doesn't do anything soon enough. Um, and, like, odds are we're going to face down a turn 1 sludge crawler. Not odds are, but, like... You know, if he's playing black, he's probably got a sledge crawler in there. Maybe maybe he's have, he even has two. I mean, we passed a complete disregard. So our opponent probably has really good removal. And we'll just stay save the stasis snare for something better. Alright, hand sweep. And the only question is, do we play Shadow Glider on three or hold up Spell Shovel? I think the answer is we just play the Glider on three. Mist Intruder. 
Yeah, we definitely play the glider here. And we can just hold up spell shrivel. I'm gonna protect myself against ingest, I think. Because we can play ghostly sentinel next turn and then start attacking through. I'm gonna save my removal for more important things. All right. I'll bite. Shield you down for one turn. But this puts m massive pressure on. All right, skitter skin. Well, we're going to counter skitter skin then. And now that first ingest goes through, so I don't I don't care about it anymore. Although he does have nullifier, which is something to keep in mind. It resolves, mostly because I can just Gideon's Reproach it. Incubator Drone, no! Come back, Incubator Drone. Now he gets to play around Spell Shrivel, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Just Gideon's Reproach, the Silent Skimmer. Just play Skitter Skin one time. Hmm. All right, let's just counter that. I think I can race the, the whatchamacallit. And this, I also have Dispel Up for removal shenanigans. Oh, I should have, mm, should have saved that, I wasn't thinking. Shoot. That might have been a mistake. Because that's big damage. Plus, we can, it can then block Skitter Scan and force a re regen on it. Yeah. Uh, sorry, bud. Which spell? Dispel. Ah, uh, Ghostly Sentinel. Fantastic draw. Fantastic draw. Now we're trading a bunch for four. And a land means... Um, a land means we're lethal next turn, so he has to chomp. And we have dispel up, so we have to have two removal spells. Yeah, this is this is fantastic. We have another ghostly sentinel. Those are pretty good late game draws. Not gonna lie. So grip of desolation doesn't even do it here. We can block a sludge crawler and make him spend a bunch of mana. Dispel was a really good board, uh, card to board in. 
even though he knows what it is, he has no way to play around it. He needs double removal spells. And even then, he's still dead. Yup. Not bad. Opponent's deck was pretty good. And attack, 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 attack. I'm telling you, 3 3 vigilance for 5. So good. Alright. Well, we beat the 80 card special that actually turned into a pretty legit deck. Like, he has some fantastic cards in there, and uh, I think the Dispel sideboard, like, we don't know if he had removal or not, but if he had, like, Grip of Desolation in hand or, like, Complete Disregard, you know, we, we might lose that game. So I think that was pretty good sideboard tech. Anyway, that's round two, and we're off to the finals. So we'll see you in a few.